Hi, this is Atmir with the Crypto Rises for Sunday, the 3rd of March. Starting off with ACA, and you can see we've got a wide rising trend channel there from back in October. Top of the channel there, heading for 20 cents. Currently, we're obviously around the 15 cents area and looking for the upside, at least while we're above. I suppose 12 cents, which was the neckline resistance before the latest breakout just at the end of last month. Time frame on hitting 20 cents area over the next week or so. Moving on to one of the most spectacular cryptos of the moment. You can see that uh, Dog is really stepping up to the plate. Uh, we've had uh, various targets here. The first one was around 66 cents. The second one, which looked rather impossible, $1.10. And then the third one, up to $1.70, which means uh, we're grappling for a new target there, possibly up towards uh, $2.5 by the end of this month. Obviously, we're due a retracement, but so far we haven't had one. In terms of near-term support, probably just below the uh, $1.40 area. Moving on to a less spectacular situation, but one which may uh, shape up, uh, which is uh, Fetch AI. Here we've got a rising trend channel. That's been in place since October, as many of these have. And uh, the top of that channel heading towards $3, which we're looking for by the end of this month likely support in the near term towards the $1.50, $1.60 area, just below the uh, price action of the past two days. Next situation is Golem, and uh, here the uh, chart looking uh, equally uh, exciting, but a wide rising trend channel there. That's again been in place since October. Top of that channel heading towards uh, $1.05, and uh, we're looking for that at least while we're above the uh, mid-50, so uh, 55 cents, uh, 50 to 55 cents the uh, hopeful support there if there is any retracement at the moment obviously it doesn't look like there will be one but uh, 105 hopefully later this month another crypto to keep an eye on is uh, coming up next multi versus the dollar and here not uh, but sort of more of a sideways uh, situation trying to bottom out after the uh, extended bear market that we've had rising trend channel there from november top of that channel heading for two dollars and seven cents and we're looking for upside here, maybe not as spectacular as that, but uh, we're looking for upside here while we're above the now rising 50-day moving average at 94 cents. Above that, at least uh, another go on uh, near-term resistance towards $1.30. The main excitement here is the way that uh, the uh, support back in September was around a dollar, and uh, that has continued to be the case apart from that uh, February bear trap. So it's a bear trap rebound that we're looking for. The longer we stay on the right side of a dollar, the better we feel about that situation. Moving on to MetaApes, which is one of the more famous plays at the moment. Uh, here you can see that we're hanging just below the two cents area, the top of the uh, channel there from back in December up to six cents, but that might have to wait for, say, next month. In the meantime, looking for support to come in around the one and a half cents area, just below that 50 day line, and then progress towards three cents or maybe four cents later this month which was the old support before the february breakdown another uh, interesting situation coming up now and uh, nvia and uh, here you can see that uh, nvia world has managed to uh, was grappling with its uh, 50 day line the uh, real situation that the overall pattern here is of a potential broadening triangle base I want to see an end of day close through the uh, 50 day line currently around the uh, 7 cents area if we could do that then it would be up to 10 cents re basically retesting the intraday resistance that we've had uh, today the best case i suppose at this stage is that we break out of this uh, broadening triangle uh, the in the first part of march and uh, then make progress there after an extended bear run uh, numbers is next and uh, here you can see that uh, we've got a uh, beautiful breakout over the last uh, couple of sessions. We've broken our uh, previous target there around the uh, nine cents area and looking for further progress. That would be defined by the line I'm just about to draw at the moment, which is uh, the upper parallel of the uh, uh, broadening triangle that we had before. So up to 17 cents, hopefully well before the end of this month, while we stay above the uh, 10 cents area. Opti is next. Uh, and uh, here, you have the uh, setup Optimus uh, in the sense that uh, we've just broken that line of resistance there within a wide rising October trend channel. The line there around uh, the 31 cents level, the longer we stay above that, the greater the chance of a move up towards 57 cents by the end of next month or hopefully a bit sooner than that. And uh, that would then hopefully deliver what the bulls are looking for. Only at this stage back below the 50 day line there at uh, 25 cents, really delaying the upside scenario. 
Next situation is uh, a decent one, sort of classic one in terms of the patterns that we're seeing at the moment. Uh, rising trend channel there for perpetual, and uh, here we've got a situation where uh, the uptrend line there is from the uh, start of November, and we're looking for a progress up to the top of the channel there, how possibly as high as $2.60 uh, by the end of this month. Obviously, the breakout just happened now through neckline resistance, around $1.60, so about $1.60 looking for $2.60 by the end of this month. Next up uh, on the list is uh, a uh, market which I looked at uh, yesterday and uh, hopefully it will make, well it is making progress uh, given that it's a riser today. Uh, we've got uh, a great push through the uh, 50 day moving average that's around uh, the uh, four, just below the 4 cents level and uh, above that looking for 8 cents and that June resistance line projection if we break through that then it would be up to as high as 10.5 cents possibly by the end of this month. Obviously, the way things are going could be by the end of this week. Moving along to uh, Sophie, and uh, here you can see that uh, RAI Finance, as it's actually known, is a broadening triangle uh, base. We've had that in place since November. Top of that uh, triangle, they're heading towards the $0.04 cents level, and we're looking for that while we remain above the 50-day moving average, around $0.1.8, cents, and uh, quite a encouraging candle there so far today suggesting that we can make it up to the four cents area on to the last three and uh, here a uh, decent situation with syscoin beautiful rising trend channel there once again from october top of the channel there as high as uh, 42 cents we're looking for that by the end of this month while we remain above the uh, 20 cents area that's also the floor of that rising trend channel we'll see the 50-day line rising very nicely at the moment theta is next and uh, here you can see that uh, we've got this uh, bull flag breakout uh, within a rising trend, trend channel once again that's uh, in place since uh, back in october top of the channel they're heading for three dollars ten which we're looking for by the end of this month while we remain on the right side of two dollars which is basically the recent consolidation area Finishing off with XYO, which has been in within this rising trend channel there from back in October. Uh, trying to head towards the uh, two cents area and uh, looking for that to happen by the end of this month. The uh, most likely scenario is that we remain above the uh, one cent area, which was uh, basically the floor of the channel and that old November peak and head to two cents by the end of this month. That's it for me today. More updates during the week.